Have you been tossed around by life and you feel life has not been fair to you? Have you gotten to the point where you feel nothing matters? Has it been from one bad news to another? In a world filled with bad news, heart-wrenching stories, flooding the mainstream media, social media, blogs, and various news propagating platforms. It's becoming increasingly difficult to survive each day without fear. It seems the word of the Bible that says the evil of the day is enough for the day is becoming a reality in this current generation. From politics to sport, to entertainment, to finance, to religion, and even health news. From Africa to America, to Asia, to Europe, to Australia and Antarctica. All we get and hear is bad news. Let's zoom in on you. Whenever your phone rings, you get scared to pick up because it's either a piece of bad news from your parent, devastating news from your siblings, a heart-shattering result from school, another reminder about your long overdue mortgage or another random call that puts you under pressure. Pressures of life are clamping down on you. Fears and worries have become your daily companion. Friends and family are not helping at all and it looks like there is no way out. Here is what I have for you. The good news is coming your way. I am very sure and certain about that because the Lord said, like cold water to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far home country. Proverbs 25, verse 25. In those days, there was a king in Israel who was sick unto death. His name was Hezekiah. He was a king who had walked before the Lord in perfect truth. Prophet Isaiah had prophesied unto him that he would die. 2 Kings 20 recorded that in those days Hezekiah became deadly ill. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amaz, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. He became bitter and thought of how he had lived his life before God. Nevertheless, he summoned courage and went before the Lord and cried unto him, the Lord sent prophet Isaiah again to him. Verse 5 says that, Turn back and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people. Thus says the Lord, The God of David, your forefather, I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord. The God of Israel added 15 more years to his life. Someone who had received a death sentence earlier got additional years instead. Just like King Hezekiah, you might have heard bad news and you feel dejected. Do not be discouraged. You will hear good news soon. Esther was just a young girl who had lost everything in life. Her parents died when she was young and she was left with nothing no inheritance, no estate, no possession, and nothing to fall back on. All she had left was her name and her uncle. She was used to unpleasant news while growing up because there was nothing good about her upbringing. But all along she trusted God to bring good news to her soon. Esther had gone through a lot, but when she was set for good news, God brought it to her doorstep. She was selected as one of the maidens who were taken to the king's palace. Esther received her good news when she was picked among all other maidens who had contested along with her. She eventually became the queen. Likewise, friends, good news received can change our story permanently. You might have received a lot of terrible news and have given up on life but I want you to believe that very soon God will bring good news to you soon. Let's take a peek into the life of Christ, our perfect example. The birth of Jesus brought joy to the world and many came to celebrate with the family. Even his death, though painful, was good news for every believer through his crucifixion, death and burial. He collected the key to life and death and he paid the price. Hallelujah. 
Good news is coming your way. Watch it. Whatsoever you have been looking up to or praying to the Lord God for will settle it and shouts of joy shall not cease in your house. Jesus is the news. He is the answer. He is the author. He is the beginning. He is the solution and he can do all things. He promised us that perfection will happen in our lives and in the world we live in. He will make everything new again. Glory to God in the highest. Good news has been, or rather is one of our redemption packages in Christ because he, Jesus, took away every form of reproach on the cross. He has paid the price already, only for those in Christ. Brethren, while awaiting this good news, engage the word of God in your daily life. Meditate on his word, which is the Bible. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, Every scripture is God-breathed, given by His inspiration, and profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for correction of error and discipline in obedience, and for training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will in thought, purpose, and action. The Word of God is so important because the whole world we see today was formed by this same word. Even the Bible said, this book of the law should not depart from thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have success. Joshua 1 verse 8. Success is good news, and the Bible has said that our success depends on reading, meditation, and doing what the Word says. Are you ready to devour the Word? Are you ready to study the Word? Are you ready to bury your head in the Word? If your answer to these questions is yes, then the good news is coming your way. Pray earnestly for good news because it's your birthright. Most Christians want things but can't pay the sacrifice of prayer required for the manifestations of their expectation. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 The shortest distance between any man and his desired result is distance between him and the floor. How fast do you get on your knees to talk to God in prayers? How often do you let God into your struggles? How much information about yourself do you hoard from God? Prayer brings to reality those things that have been promised to every child of God in the scriptures. If you want those promises to be fulfilled in your life, then you've got to pray. You need to pray more often now that you need good news. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Proverbs 15 verse 30 says, The light in the eyes of him whose heart is joyful rejoices the hearts of others, and good news nourishes the bones. Good news, as the word implies, means to hear something pleasing, to hear uplifting stories, and it connotates answers to a long-awaited result or short-awaited expectation. To an extent, some don't even think, expect, or even plan towards it. You can't feature in a future that you have not captured or pictured in your heart. As you step out daily, expect good news, anticipate good news, look forward to hearing good news, and somehow everything will work together to grant your expectations. Whenever you expect good news, you will get good news. Even if all that is happening around is bad news, you will still get to see the silver lining. A merry heart doeth the soul better than medicine. You will be doing yourself well to be expecting good news every day. So when you are in the house, expect good news. When in the bus, expect good news. When in the train, expect good news. 
When in the mall, expect good news. When going to get groceries, expect good news. When on that picnic, expect good news. Let me add this, that when you feel there is no hope, expect good news. When it looks like it's getting tougher, expect good news. Good news is your heritage. The good news is what God wants to give you. And the good news is all you will get daily.